this right here. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. None, none at all whatsoever. Hola and welcome or welcome back to Kim at Home. I'm starting this video out in the evening before I shower and go to bed. I gotta get my room tidied up. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, show the like button some love, and join my YouTube family. First things first, let's get this laundry together. If you've been here for a while, you know laundry is not my thing. However, I guess I better fold it since my husband washes it and dries it for me. <laughs> That's the only thing that's left on the floor and my husband can vacuum. These are his clothes. I did not make the bed up all the way because I'm about to get into it after I take a shower. And my desk has been cleaned off too. Everything needs to be wiped down, but I ain't got it in me today. Hey girl, hey, how you doing? Oh, how you doing Tiffany? Hey sugar. It is that time, bedtime. It's the next day and I wanna get some things done that I was not able to accomplish yesterday. Starting off with my pantry, some of the things need refilled. And I guess, you know, my family thinks I'm the only person that can refill these things. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Let me know below in the comments. What are you watching? I recently finished The Summer I Turned Pretty and the last season really made me upset. So I don't think I'm gonna watch it again for next season. But I will say, if a show makes you upset, that means it's good, but like really, I, I just can't take it with them. <laughs> so now I'm gonna start on my lunch and dinner. This is a WG Grinder Italian sub. If you don't know about WG Grinder, you will have to definitely Google it because their subs are amazing. To this bowl right here, I'm gonna add some garlic, Miracle Whip, oregano, as well as red wine. Red wine vinegar, that is. You think that's about two cloves of garlic? Probably. Anyway, that's garlic paste. Quarter teaspoon of oregano. You also need coarse black pepper. I don't have coarse black pepper. I'm just using regular black pepper. To this, I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt and I'm gonna add garlic powder as well. I love garlic powder. The recipe does not necessarily call for it though. Nice and creamy. What I found is when you make something, you should always perfect it the next time and the time after that. So garlic powder it is. I will say the onions are supposed to be thinly sliced. So if you do make this, make sure your onions are thinly sliced for me. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to eat it regardless, okay? <laughs> I'm probably going to add some more peppers to this, but I'm gonna allow it to sit in the refrigerator and then while it, you know, settles, then I'm going to straighten up the kitchen a little bit. I recently read this amazing quote that I wanna share with you. We are here to add what we can to life, not to get what we can from life. I wanna be sure that you heard that correctly. Yes, you have to add value to your life and to others' lives as well. But first, in order for you to add value to other people's lives, you have to learn how to love yourself. Be sure you're saying your affirmations every single day, 12 times a day, however many times you need to say it in order to believe it.
now that I am finished with the kitchen, I'm going to finish the sandwich. It's just basically Italian meats and you're gonna place it in the oven. You're going to cook it a little bit and then you're going to add your toppings. Aria is about to make her and Bree sub now. Now there are several types of cheeses that you're supposed to put on this sandwich and with the mozzarella cheese, I did not want it melted. However, that Fontina cheese or however you pronounce it, ooh wee, it is amazing. So on a normal basis, you can close this sandwich, but on a Kim basis, we have an open face sandwich, so we are not closing it. When I was doing the dishes, I noticed how dirty the sides of my stove was and then underneath it. I could tell because I had to bend over to get something off the floor, so Karia is gonna handle this for me because she is my little helper and I appreciate it when she does help me because a lot of times, you know, it's just me, which is fine. I love to clean my home because I know that I'm gonna do it the right way, so. Please don't take that the wrong way. I definitely don't mind. It's actually very therapeutic for me. At any rate, I think it's really important to teach your kids how to cook and how to clean. My kids are always in the kitchen with me. Obviously my 22 year old, she holds it down, okay? But I need my 12 year old to be able to hold it down too when she gets older because she may live alone. And let's be real, it's always good to have a home cooked meal. Don't nobody want no mediocre food. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you cook and clean with your kids. Selfishly, don't tell nobody, but I'm kind of hoping one day that them girls can cook better than me so that they can be in charge of the meals. <laughs> the next day and I just got out of the shower and washed and twisted my hair. Here's what my husband's side of the sink is looking like and then here's what mine is looking like. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I need to handle that. I also need to clean that mirror, my bathtub and this mirror, but let me give you some close up views of my bathtub. I know y'all see all that dust. My handy dandy tool to clean the bathtub is in the bathtub. So let's get started. If you suffer from depression, anxiety, chronic fatigue, anything like that, make sure that you are spreading your cleaning out into days. That's just how I have to do it. Always listen to your body. Know that you don't need to wear yourself out. All that stuff will be there tomorrow. What on God's green earth is all of this? It's called hair, fur, fuzz, dust, gross, whatever. It's only been a week since I cleaned out my bathtub last. <laughs> And it just, yeah, the dust is ridiculous. Every time I pull out this brush in my videos, I get questions about it. So please know that it's always linked in my description box in the event that you wanna order it for yourself. I ordered it from Amazon. My mirror window contraption cleaner is always linked in my description box as well. In my last video, I had mentioned being your own superstar, being your own cheerleader, knowing what your wants, your needs, your desires are, and loving yourself. How have you been on this journey? When I tell you that is the best healing journey that I could ever be on in my life, it's just really, really amazing. Let me know if you can relate to that below in the comments. I really wanna know how your journey is going as well. The big thing is not getting discouraged because healing is a forever journey. You always have something to work on, right? Yeah.
I painted these cabinets maybe two months ago and I'm gonna be honest with you I have only wiped them off like three times this is my third time wiping them off <laughs> I just kept thinking you're gonna tarnish the paint even though I'm not gonna tarnish the paint it's cabinet paint I don't know why I was thinking that anyway I love this color it's called shade grown one thing that I am still looking for I'm on the hunt for as my dad would say <laughs> are rugs for my bathroom I just can't find ones that are like feasibly priced so to speak. You know what I'm saying? All you need sometimes is just a really quick speed clean in your bathroom. Um, that is my little contraption that is drying off. You don't want to put that away unless it's dry. And then it's the hub side, his side is fairly always <laughs> tidy other than this. And he can organize that himself. As soon as I said that, he walked in. <laughs> now I'm cleaning off my side of the bed, which is always a hot mess express. And that's okay, because you know what? I actually like it that way. I know where everything is. I don't have to search, hunt, or anything like that. <laughs> it's just like organized chaos. So back to my conversation about being your own superstar. When you are your own superstar, you have to be okay with the fact that some people are not on board with you. Some people don't like you. Again, you're not for everyone. I know I've spoken about this before in the past, but the other thing is some people are gonna doubt you and that's okay because you're not gonna doubt yourself. And no matter what anybody says about you, you need to love yourself enough to know that their opinion of you doesn't matter and it's really none of your business so just keep it moving and keep shining bright like the diamond that you are let people see you winning don't get upset don't get sad don't block them let them see you smile now obviously you don't want to take any type of verbal abuse so if somebody is verbally abusing you just say you know what I understand that you're hurt and it's gonna be okay for you one day and when you're ready to heal come holla at me that's what I tell people okay <laughs> is better than me being petty and stooping to their level and being rude, right? But let's be real. When someone else is winning, you as a superstar, because remember, you are your own superstar, you definitely should acknowledge that, you should congratulate them, and you should wish them nothing but the best because you're not a hater, you're a superstar, right? Superstars aren't haters. If you have that mindset of like being jealous or envious of somebody, you gotta check yourself from within, figure out what the root of that issue is, and then heal. It's all about healing. It's 2023. We ain't about to be walking around here sad, broke up, busted and discuss it. We're going to be healed, period. Okay? I know I am. And I'm hoping y'all go on this journey with me. Actually, morning good. Somebody come fix this banister. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even go there about how much work these stairs and banister needs. I mean, it's just, you know, really expensive. It's not in the budget, but eventually I will get to it. hidden behind there the oreo cookie <laughs> diy i totally have to redeem myself on that Travel the world. Please, baby girls, marry my best. so this side of the house i try not to come to because the laundry room's over here <laughs> My daughter's bedrooms and bathroom is over here as well. My 22 year old is sick. So I really, really wanted to disinfect. I sprayed everything down before I came in here so that I wouldn't get sick. But yeah, it's just been a very, very long week. Say a prayer for my girl. She's doing better now, but yes, please keep her in your prayers that she will have full healing.
Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you hanging out with me. If you are new, know that this channel is a channel of realness, okay? I'm not on here looking cute because I'm cleaning. I don't roll like that because I sweat when I clean. <laughs> And I really wanna teach you something. It's not about me, it's about what I'm teaching you and it's all about this healing journey and being kind to people. I also do cooking projects, DIYs, repairs, all of that great stuff. If that is your vibe, please, please be sure to subscribe. Listen, that just rhymed and I was not even trying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, so since I'm cleaning off the laundry room door, I just thought I, I would step in here and see exactly what it's looking like and it definitely needs a Kim touch. My husband, again, he does laundry, I do not. So I'm not gonna complain about what it looks like. I'm gonna just clean it and run out of here as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I don't want him thinking that I'm changing my mind about doing laundry. So like I said, I gotta get up out of here quickly, quick, fast, and in a hurry. I have a really quick funny story. I used to work with this lady and she used to tell me that her husband does not bother with washing like undergarments, like t-shirts, underwear, that sort of thing. She was like, girl, he just throws them away and opens up a new pack. And I'm like, that has to be expensive. But I could totally see myself doing that. I mean, if I had the money, because I really just, I don't like doing laundry. I know if you've been here, I've said it a thousand times, but I don't, okay? It could be that or, you know, pay someone to do the laundry, which can be pricey as well. Anyway, thank you again for being here. I appreciate you so, so much. Please do not forget to hit subscribe and the like button on your way out. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.